Beam NG Drive is more popular than ever before. Every day, tons of new players join the game, and it's no surprise why. However, as a new player, you might face some challenges at the start. I have spent over 1000 hours in Beam NG, but I still keep learning new things about the game. So in today's video, I'll show you some tips to make your early days in Beam NG a bit easier. I won't keep you waiting any longer, let's get started. A lot of people often ask me how do I make my mods to spawn as traffic cars. It's actually quite simple. First, in the settings under the gameplay section, we need to check two options. The first one is allow mods to spawn and the second one is enable switching to traffic vehicles. And now when you spawn traffic, some mods should appear as well. Unfortunately, we can't control which exact mods the game spawns. This is exactly why we check the enable switching to traffic vehicles option. If you want to change the mods that the game has spawned, simply press the tab key to switch to the mod you want to change, open the car selector, and choose the car that you want to spawn instead of the current one. Then, just click on the replace current and that's it. And from now on, the AW beat will spawn instead of the SBR4. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I mean those blue icons that are scattered all over the map. If you don't want them to appear, you need to go to the settings, then to the user interface section, and there you need to uncheck the option show challenge markers. And as you can see, the challenge markers are now gone. Another thing that a lot of people often ask me about is how to fix old mods. Today, I'll finally share my little trick with you. It's actually quite simple if you know the zip structure that a mod needs to have in order to appear in the game. When we look at a typical mod, we can see a folder named Vehicles. If we open it, we find a folder with the name of the mod inside, and there may be some other folders here as well, like a common folder in this case. However, when we check an old mod, we can immediately notice that the vehicles folder is missing. And that's exactly why old mods don't show up in the game. To fix these mods, I create an entirely new zip file, which I can name anything I like. Next, I create a new folder that have to be named vehicles. Then, I open the old mod and move all its contents into that newly created vehicles folder. Now, I simply move the entire vehicles folder into the newly created zip file. And all that's left is to install this new zip file into the mods folder like any other. And as you can see, we have it right here at the top. Downloading mods for BeamNG isn't always just fun. Sometimes, you might install an outdated or low-quality mod that breaks the textures on vanilla cars or, in worse cases, breaks the entire game. At this point, it's time to uninstall the mod and clear the cache. At first, if you have multiple mods installed in the game, you have to disable all of them. To do that, go to the repository section, switch to the mods manager, and click on the deactivate all mods option. If you don't have any other mods in the game, you can skip this step. 
We only do this because there's a chance that your mods folder will get wiped out during the cache clearing process, and that's definitely something you don't want. I've seen people lose their mods like this several times. Next, close the game and open the game launcher. Select the Support Tools option, then choose Clear Cache, and then click on the Standard Cache Cleaning option. Now, wait for the cache to clear, and for the integrity check to complete. Once the integrity check is completed, you can launch the game and re-enable all the mods you deactivated before clearing the cache. To make replays in BeamNG, you need to add a specific UI app to your screen. There is a lot of UI apps, but we are searching for the one called Replays. Once you find it, you can place it anywhere on your screen. To start a replay, simply click on this small red button. And when you want to save your replay, just click on the button again. You can even rename your replay if you want. Um. As I said, you can even rename your replay if you want but avoid using any special characters in the name. Using them might cause your game to crash. To access your saved replays, click on this small folder icon located on the left side of the UI app. You can also access your saved replays directly from the main menu. And here's my last tip for replays, if your screen looks similar to mine. What the hell? you definitely need to know a shortcut ALT plus U. It hides the game UI, so you can fully enjoy your replays. To access the free camera, simply press the F8 key on your keyboard or a shortcut Shift plus C. This switches the game into free camera mode, allowing you to fly around and explore the map from any angle. Once you're in free camera mode, Use the WASD keys to move around. You can also adjust your speed using the shift key to go faster. This is a great way to position the camera exactly where you need it, whether it's for setting up crashes or taking photos of your car. And now I'll show you how you can spawn a car anywhere on the map. When you're in free camera mode, find a spot that you like. Once you've chosen the location, press F7 key. This will instantly teleport your vehicle to that exact point. <laughs> 